Welcome to the Avia Ventilation System Training Series. This program is designed to introduce the Avia Critical Care Ventilator and to orientate the user to the controls. As with any life support device, clinicians are strongly urged to read the operator's manual in its entirety before operating the ventilator. The Avia Ventilator is designed to treat ventilation disorders in all patient populations from the smallest neonate to the largest adult. Its revolutionary design incorporates intelligent ventilation with simplicity of operation. Avia is constructed in three distinct modules, the cart, the ventilator body, and the user interface module, or UIM. The comprehensive cart is constructed for ease of intra-hospital transport as well as improved functionality. The large casters can be locked to prevent forward and backward as well as lateral movement. The optional external battery is conveniently housed in a compartment located in the base of the cart. When installed, this feature extends Avia's battery operation from 2 to 8 hours. Active humidification systems can be attached to the pull portion of the cart with a standard pull mount. High pressure gas hoses can be conveniently stored in the rear compartment of the comprehensive model cart. All of the electrical and pneumatic connections for Avia can be found on the rear panel of the ventilator body. The power cord is protected from accidental disconnection by nestling the connector in a strain relief compartment. Moving clockwise from the power cord, an analog input-output allows recorders and monitors to interface with Avia. The independent lung ventilation cable is also connected here. Below the analog input-output, we find the fuse and connector for the external battery. The on-off switch is found below the external battery connector and is protected from inadvertent actions by the protective cover. High pressure gas connections are specifically keyed for oxygen, medical air, as well as heliox. To switch between medical air and heliox input, simply screw on the appropriate smart connector. This unique system signals to Avia which type of fitting is attached and therefore which gas controls to initiate. Standard fittings are used for oxygen, air, and heliox. The oxygen monitor cell is located between the two high-pressure gas connectors. The cell may be changed while the ventilator is in operation without interrupting ventilation to the patient. The front panel of the ventilator body contains all of the patient connections. The inspiratory limb of the patient circuit connects to the gas output of the ventilator and the expiratory limb connects to the exhalation filter system. Connections on the front panel will vary depending on your particular model of Avia. Please consult your operator's manual for a detailed diagram of each configuration. For the comprehensive model, connections are present for proximal flow sensors, esophageal balloons, and tracheal catheters. These applications will be covered in a separate program in the Avia training series. An integrated nebulizer port is located below the sensor connectors. Connect any disposable or reusable medication nebulizer to the port and activate with the nebulizer button on the user interface module. The user interface module is where patient settings are input and all monitored data is displayed. The display can be easily adjusted for optimal viewing. On the underside of the display panel, an SVGA port is provided for direct output of screen displays to a digital projection or image capture device. A parallel printer port allows printing of any screen display. The RS-232 port is for the input and output of digital data 
and makes software upgrades quick and easy. And an MIB port is provided for interfacing with medical information systems. The high-resolution touchscreen is bordered by a number of membrane buttons. To enhance the simplicity of operation, these buttons are dedicated to specific functions that never change. The main screen button is prominently displayed in the upper left corner. This always returns the operator to the main display screen from any other screen currently displayed. The Screens button opens the screen selection menu. From here, the operator can open a variety of different displays. The Freeze button enables the user to freeze a display for closer examination. The data dial controls a cursor that displays numerical values along portions of a waveform, loop, or histogram display. The Event button is used to mark a specific event in the patient's course of ventilation. Such events as ABGs, chest X-rays, or treatments can be marked and time-stamped for recording in the 24-hour trended data display. Settings changes and nebulizer activation are automatically entered as events. The Mode button displays a menu of available ventilation modes to choose from. Avia offers the practitioner many choices with regard to configuration of breath delivery. There are eight modes available for adult and pediatric patients and seven modes for neonatal patients. The choices displayed are a combination of breath type and ventilation delivery mode. Apnea backup ventilation is available in all modes and is mandatory in the CPAP PSV mode. Touch the apnea settings area of the mode select screen. Set the breath type for apnea ventilation and confirm the apnea primary settings in the lower left corner of the display screen. The apnea interval is selected from the alarm limits display screen. In the assist control and SIMV modes, the apnea backup rate is determined by the operator set mandatory rate or the apnea interval setting, whichever provides the highest respiratory rate. Please consult the Viasis Healthcare publication of VIA modes for a complete description of all the available modes, including primary and advanced controls pertaining to each. The Advanced Setting button allows the user to fine-tune certain ventilator settings for more customized breath delivery. Advanced settings are logically associated with particular primary controls. Primary controls with advanced settings have a yellow triangle indicator. Advanced settings will be detailed in another presentation in the Avia Ventilation System series. The Setup button allows the user to access the setup screen. Here, the operator can select or activate certain functions such as active or passive humidification, artificial airway compensation, and patient weight entries. The Extended Systems Test, or EST, can also be accessed and performed at any time from the setup screen. The Print button sends the currently displayed screen data to a compatible printer. Any screen display can be printed. The Lock button will lock all panel and screen controls except for manual breath, suction, increase O2, alarm reset, and alarm silence. To unlock the screen, press the lock button again. The patient size indicators are for display purposes only and not changeable from the front panel. Patient size must be changed from the setup screen. The nebulizer button activates the integrated nebulizer for 20 minutes and the delivery of nebulized medication is synchronized with the inspiratory phase of the breath. To deactivate the nebulizer before the 20 minute duration, simply touch the button a second time. Please note that in order to power the nebulizer, a flow of at least 15 liters per minute is required. Also note that the nebulizer is not active while a VIA is operating on its internal compressor. Refer to the operator's manual regarding operation of the nebulizer with Heliox gas delivery. The inspiratory hold button is used to obtain static measurements such as plateau pressure and static compliance. When pressed, once the mandatory breath has been delivered, the patient will not be allowed to exhale until either the button is released or a maximum time of three seconds has elapsed. Pressing the expiratory hold button 
will not allow the patient to inspire or exhale at the next breath interval for a maximum of 20 seconds in adults and 3 seconds in neonates. Simply release the button to return the patient to the prescribed ventilation. The Increase O2 button is used to increase the concentration of oxygen delivered to the patient for two minutes. Pressing the button a second time before the two minutes has elapsed returns the FiO2 to the prior setting. The increase will default to 100% for adult and pediatric patients. For neonates, the default increase is 20% above the set O2 percentage, or 100%, whichever is less. The clinician is able to configure this control by accessing the utility screen and selecting any desired increase in delivered FiO2. Pressing the suction button initiates a disconnect for suction maneuver. Avia performs several functions during this maneuver. First, the oxygen percentage delivered to the patient will be increased for two minutes to default values or as configured by the clinician. Second, the demand system on loss of PEEP will be disabled to minimize the flow from the Y upon disconnection. Third, the alarms will be silenced for two minutes. If the suction button is pressed again during the two minutes that the maneuver is active, the maneuver will be canceled. The manual breath button will deliver a single mandatory breath if pressed during the expiratory phase of breath delivery. No breath is delivered if the button is pressed during inspiration. Pressing the Alarm Limits button opens the alarm screen for viewing or adjustment of current settings. To close the alarm screen, press the button again. Alarm Reset cancels the visual indicators for alarms that are no longer active. Alarm Silence will disable the audible portion of an alarm for two minutes or until the button is pressed again. Subsequent alarms occurring after the button is pressed will not be automatically silenced. A vent in-op alarm cannot be silenced with this button. The LED indicators at the top right of the panel give a visual indication of the activation and severity of an alarm condition. Red signifies a high-priority alarm and is accompanied by a five-tone audible alarm. Yellow signifies a medium or low priority alarm and is associated with a three-tone audible alarm. The layout of the touchscreen on Avia is designed for intuitive interaction with the ventilator. Consistent, rapid access to physiologic data and current ventilator status is available at all times. The mode indicator, screen name, alarm banner, primary controls, and message bar are continually displayed. Only the controls that are active for the selected mode are visible. Each control, when active, always appears in the same location on the screen. A data dial provides the primary means for selection of control settings and menu options appearing on the LCD display. Changing settings on the ventilator is accomplished by touching the LCD display directly over the primary control as shown here. Notice that when the control is selected, the background color of the control changes from black to blue. Use the data dial to select the new control setting. Note that the data dial is speed sensitive, that is, the speed of rotating the dial determines the scroll rate through settings and data selections. Accepting the change can be accomplished by either touching the LCD display directly over the primary control a second time, or by touching the accept button located to the left of the data dial. In either event, the background color will change from blue to black, signaling that the new setting is in effect. Just remember, touch, turn, touch, or touch, turn, accept. If the change is not accepted by either method within 15 seconds, the ventilator display will return to the previous control settings, which are still in effect. These three-step techniques 
are a required safety standard to help prevent accidental application of inappropriate control settings. Calculations for minute volume, inspiratory time, expiratory time and I to E ratio are displayed at the bottom left of the main screen. Compressor operation is displayed as an icon in the lower right corner of the screen. The indication of battery operation is also displayed here. If Heliox is being administered, an icon indication is also displayed in this area. The central portion of the touchscreen, which can be configured by the clinician, provides patient data and physiologic monitoring. The main screen central area displays graphic waveforms. Touch the waveform title to choose from flow, volume, airway pressure, tracheal pressure, and esophageal pressure waveforms. Graphical representation of data input through the analog ports is also selectable for display. To change the scale and sweep speed of a waveform, touch the screen over the axis to be changed and use the data dial to make the desired change. Then touch the axis again or press the accept key to accept the change. Waveforms are color coded to correspond to different types of breaths and phases of ventilation. Red denotes the inspiratory phase of a mandatory breath. Yellow denotes the inspiratory portion of an assisted or spontaneous breath. A blue tracing represents the expiratory phase of a mandatory, assisted, or spontaneous breath. The left side of the main screen displays user configurable monitor data. Five values of the operator's choosing are displayed. To change the display, touch the screen over a displayed value and observe the resulting menu display. The data dial is then used to scroll through and highlight the desired item for display. Touching the screen over the display again or pressing the accept key accepts the new display configuration. Note that the monitored values on each AVIA screen can be configured differently. Select the loop screen from the screen's menu. Two real-time loops are displayed. Touching the loop title allows selection from a menu of flow volume, airway pressure volume, esophageal pressure volume, tracheal pressure volume, and transpulmonary pressure volume loops. Scaling is accomplished by touching the axis to be scaled, turning the data dial, and touching the axis a second time. Press the freeze button to activate the cursor. Press the save loop area to save a selected loop. A maximum of four loops can be saved and selected as reference images for comparison with live loops. The reference loop remains in the background under the real-time loop. An extended list of monitor parameters is available on the monitor screen, accessed via the screen's membrane key or by touching the currently displayed screen listing the monitor screen allows simultaneous display of up to 15 parameters. Each parameter is updated at the start of the next inspiration, or every 10 seconds, whichever comes first. Each display can be configured from the same menu of parameters, and the monitor screen can be set up to correspond to your hospital's ventilator flow sheet. All parameters are continually trended over a running 24-hour period and can be accessed via the Trend screen. The Trend screen is accessed in the same manner. Four histograms and a spreadsheet are displayed simultaneously. Configuration is also identical to the other screens we have examined. Simply touch the histogram or parameter display to be changed. Select a new parameter from the resulting menu and touch again. Regardless of the present view configuration, all parameters are continually trended over a running 24-hour period. To look back over the 24-hour trended period, press the Freeze button. As with the graphics or loops display, the cursor appears and examination over time can be accomplished by rotating the data dial. The corresponding timeline is shown as yellow text on the spreadsheet. Event markers appear in green text. Scaling is also accomplished by touching the axis, rotating the dial, 
and pressing Accept. The maneuver screen offers the clinician a selection of maneuvers for clinical patient assessment. Maneuver selections will vary with your particular model of Avia. Maximum inspiratory pressure with P100 and auto peep are included in all models for adult and pediatric patients. Touch the auto peep area of the screen. Once the auto peep maneuver screen is displayed, simply touch start and the maneuver will be done automatically. An expiratory pause will occur during the next exhalation and a pressure reading will be obtained during this pause. The auto peep value displayed is the total pressure in the system detected during an expiratory pause. The delta auto peep displays any differences between the monitored peep and the auto peep detected. Please note that the auto peep maneuver will be aborted if any patient effort is detected during the expiratory pause. The maximum inspiratory pressure maneuver is a useful weaning parameter for measuring a patient's inspiratory effort. Touch the MIP P100 area of the screen. Once the maneuver is started, both the inspiratory and expiratory limbs of the patient's circuit will be occluded for the time duration selected and a negative pressure measurement of patient effort will be measured. To initiate the maneuver, set the duration and touch start. The MIP is displayed in the first window and the P100 is displayed next. The P100 is the maximum inspiratory pressure recorded during the first 100 milliseconds of effort. The standby screen was developed to provide an easy way to suspend ventilation during times when the patient is away from the ventilator and a quick way to safely restart ventilation once the patient has returned. When standby is selected, the ventilator supplies 2 liters per minute of gas flow to prevent accidental overheating of the circuit by the heated humidifier. Cap the end of the circuit Y to ensure complete gas flow through the expiratory limb. The text message continuously cautions that the ventilator is not ventilating while in standby mode. Immediate resumption of ventilation at the most recent settings is as simple as the touch of a button. The utility screen permits configuration changes, such as alarm loudness, enabling or disabling the O2 alarm, flow corrections for heated, humidified gas, independent lung ventilation, barometric pressure, and language. The Increase O2 feature, activated by the Increase O2 membrane button, can be configured to any percent increase desired. The Low Exhaled Tidal Volume Alarm whose limit value is set in the alarm limit screen, has a sensitivity setting in the utility screen. Set the number of consecutive breaths that can occur below the alarm limit before the audible and visual alarms are activated. Tabs enable the display of additional utility screens to enable the operator to configure input-output devices and change the current date and time. Avia is designed to function using commonly available circuits and filters. It is easy to clean, and its design discourages liquids from pooling on the casing, reducing the likelihood of fluid entry and corrosion. To remove the bacteria filter from its compartment, swing the locking lever outward, grasp the water trap and pull down firmly. Remove the filter and water trap from the cartridge and separate the filter from the water trap. Clean the ventilator using whatever antimicrobial agent your infection control committee has endorsed for such surfaces. Wipe all contact surfaces, including the support arm, display screen, and data dial. Insert a clean filter and water trap into the exhalation cartridge. Slide the cartridge into the ventilator and lock into place. If passive humidification, HME, is being used, simply connect the inspiratory limb of the patient's circuit directly to the gas output of the ventilator. Connect the expiratory limb of the circuit to the water trap. Place the passive humidification device in line in the patient's circuit 
per the manufacturer's instructions. Please refer to the operator's manual for a diagram to connect active humidification systems. Your Avia is now ready for pre-patient testing. The extended systems test, or EST, should be run between patients, and whenever the patient circuit is changed, ensure that the patient is disconnected from the ventilator before performing this test. Press the on-off switch on the back of the ventilator, and then wait a few seconds as Avia goes through the power on sequence. Once the display is active, the alarm silence button can be pressed to suspend any alarm activations during the testing phase. Touch the new patient LCD area on the patient select screen and then touch patient accept on this same screen. Please note that during this ventilation setup sequence, you must confirm your choices by touching the accept area of each setup screen. The accept membrane button located adjacent to the data dial cannot be used to confirm setup configurations. The patient size select screen is overlaying the ventilation setup screen. In this example, we are setting up for an adult patient, so we will touch the adult screen button and then touch the size accept button on this same screen. Next, touch the EST LCD area on the setup screen and follow the prompts. Capping the end of the patient circuit and touching the continue display are the only operator interactions during this test. Avia will go through a test sequence to calibrate the oxygen monitor, check for circuit leaks and measure the compliance of the circuit. If any portion of the EST fails, refer to the troubleshooting section of your operator's manual. Once the test is completed, touch the continue screen button to return to the setup screen. The setup screen contains controls for several advanced features which are available on Avia. When AAC, or Artificial Airway Compensation, is turned on, Avia will automatically calculate the pressure drop across the length of the tracheal tube. A variable amount of pressure support will be delivered breath by breath during the inspiratory phase to overcome the imposed resistance of the artificial airway. This calculation takes into account flow, gas composition, fraction of inspired oxygen, tube diameter, tube length, and pharyngeal curvature based on patient size. Touch the AAC off button. The button will now read AAC on. Next, enter the patient's tracheal tube diameter and length. A yellow AAC is displayed in the mode display area whenever this feature is active. Leak comp may be used to compensate for any baseline leaks that may occur at the patient interface. Simply touch the LCD area and it will change to leak comp on. The compliance factor of the patient circuit was automatically entered into this area with the EST. If you wish to have the patient's tidal volume delivered without circuit compliance compensation, the value is 0.0. .0. Use the touch-turn-touch touch method to enter any settings. If you are using active humidification, touch the control area under humidifier and it will change to active on. If you are using an HME for patient humidification, set the control to active off. This will tell Avia which humidity compensation factor to apply. If you wish for Avia to display a calculation of tidal volume to patient body weight, enter the patient's weight with the same touch-turn-touch touch technique. The patient's identification number can be entered on this screen as well. This number will be added to any printed page for easy reference. Once you have confirmed all of the ventilation setup values on the screen, touch the Setup Accept area on the screen to activate the settings. With the main screen now the active display, let's set some basic ventilation parameters. For this example, let's assume that we want to set up this adult patient in the SIMV volume control mode. 
To access the Mode Select screen, either touch the Modes Membrane button or touch the Current Mode Display area on the touch screen. Select Volume SIMV and the primary settings for the selected mode and type of ventilation are displayed at the bottom of the display screen. Only the active settings are displayed. Primary controls, advanced settings and alarm limits may be adjusted prior to accepting the new mode. Adjustments to the primary settings are accomplished with Touch Turn Touch or Touch Turn Accept methods. Set the tidal volume to 600 milliliters. The respiratory rate to 8 breaths per minute. The peak flow to 60 liters per minute. The pressure support to 10 centimeters of water. The PEEP at 5 and the oxygen percentage to 21 percent. Touch the alarm limits button and the alarm limits controls are displayed. Set each alarm limit to the appropriate setting. After confirming the proposed mode and related settings, touch the Mode Accept area of the display screen to accept the settings. The relative position of the alarm limits to the primary settings can be observed by the red and white markings on the primary settings controls. To navigate to another screen display, Simply touch the associated membrane button or touch the current screen display area and the menu of Avia screens will be opened. Please remember that you can always return to the main screen display by touching the main screen button. We hope that this basic overview of the Avia ventilation system has been helpful to you. Viasis Healthcare is committed to the support of its products and the clinical education of the respiratory community. Informative publications by leading physicians are available on subjects relevant to ventilator patient management and pulmonary mechanics. Many of these publications can be downloaded from our website. For more information, please visit us at www.viasishealthcare.com or contact your local Viasis sales specialist.